with your CID TV News update, I'm Donna Bush. Thanks for joining us. Coming up, tourism officials launch a draft five-year tourism plan, and the public is invited to give their feedback. The annual Breeze uh, Fusion 5K Walk Run is coming up. Find out how you can get registered for this event. And the deadline for the RCIPS's recruitment drive is just days away. On Tuesday morning, tourism officials launched the consultation period for the draft National Tourism Plan 2018 to 2023. The Ministry and Department of Tourism are encouraging the public to take part, as outlined during the community meetings held back in February and March of this year on all three islands. The final plan will provide a comprehensive and strategic way forward to maximize the benefits of tourism throughout the country. Now, in a press release from the Department of Tourism and Minister for Tourism, the Honorable Moses Colonel says it is imperative that the community remains involved in the process because ultimately this very important economic pillar of our society can only thrive with your support. Meantime, Director of Tourism Mrs. Rosa Harris further encourages the public to participate in this important stage of review. The National Tourism Plan is designed to be our roadmap for sustainable success in tourism while supporting the many businesses that are needed to make the industry thrive. Now, the full document is available for you to read as well as the survey online at Cayman N, that's N for Nancy, T for Tom, P for Peter, dot KY. Again, that's Cayman NTP dot KY. Again, the public consultation process is now open through September 26. Also, hard copies of the draft National Tourism Plan will be available here at the Government Administration Building reception area from, fr from this Friday, the 24th of August. In other news, organizers of the annual Breeze Fusion 5K Run Walk wants to exceed expectations at the next event scheduled for November 3rd. The event organized by Radio Cayman and Breeze FM also saw success with their inaugural Cayman Brack leg back in 2016 and will be returning to the sister islands on November 24th. Since its inception, inception in 2007, proceeds from the Breeze Fusion Race have supported the National Council for Voluntary Organizations, or NCVO, which is an independent, nonprofit charitable organization which engages in projects to meet the ever-growing needs of the community. The first 300 participants will receive a goodie bag and a participation medal. The first, second, and third place overall male and female runners will receive a trophy, and all participants will get a chance to win great door prizes. Now, to get registered, you can go online to radiokman.gov.ky or caymanactive.com forward slash breeze. Potential sponsors can email rcsales at gov.ky or simply give them a call at 949-7799. Finally, a reminder to those who are Caymanian or resident here in the Cayman Islands for four years or more. If you're considering becoming a police officer, you have until this Friday, August 24th at midnight to apply online at rcips.ky. Also, you have the option of printing the paperwork along with the required documents and handing them into the RCIPS headquarters in Georgetown during normal business hours this Thursday or Friday. Well, for a look at our weekly schedule of shows here on CIG Television, you can go online to gis.gov.ky and click on the publications link at the bottom of the home page. If you missed today's news update, you can go to the Cayman Islands Government Facebook page as well as the CIG Television YouTube channel. With your CIG TV news update uh, for this Wednesday evening, I'm Donna Bush as always thanking you for joining me, wishing you a wonderful and safe night as always and hoping you'll join us back here again tomorrow. Until then, bye-bye for now. The Royal Cayman Islands Police Service has launched a new service to apply for a police clearance certificate online. To make this process quick and easy, ensure you have digital copies of all required documents readily available. At a minimum, you'll need a copy of your passport photo page. Our website lists the full requirements. If you are using an Apple iOS or Android mobile device, you can use the camera to take photos of these documents while completing your application. After you have read the instructions and are ready to start, Type in the alphanumeric string from the CAPTCHA image and click the green button that says Start Application. If you can't read the letters and numbers properly, click Can't Read Image below the photo to try again. To complete your application, you will follow five simple steps. These are shown at the top of each page, 
and the blue circle will always show where you are right now. Enter the requested data in each field. All fields marked with an asterisk are required. Each field has some help information, and please pay attention to the correct format for dates and telephone numbers in particular. When selecting your birthday, you can also use the calendar feature. If a field has a drop-down list, you can scroll through alphabetically or start typing to find the correct option. You will be asked to enter your email address twice to ensure it's correct. This is the address we will use to send you a confirmation email and receipt. Once you have entered all of the required information, click Next at the bottom of the screen. If you click the Cancel Application button at any stage in the process, you will lose everything you've entered so far and be returned to the home page. On this page, answer the questions about past offenses, provide details if relevant, and then click Next. In this step, you will select the type of service being requested and details of the person applying, as well as anyone who might pick up the certificate on his or her behalf. If you select certain options, more information may be required at this stage or later in the process when you are uploading your documents. Finally, select the reasons you are applying and then click Next. If you make a mistake, use the drop-down menu to change the reason or click the red X to delete a line. Remember, if you click the Cancel Application button at any stage in the process, you will lose everything you've entered so far and be returned to the home page. If you need to go back to a previous page to review or change data you already entered, you can use the Back button. You can also navigate through the process using the links at the top of the page. On this page, you will be asked for the relevant digital documents to support your application. On each line, click the Upload icon, select the correct file, and then click Upload. Repeat this process for each document. Based on the information you've already entered, this page will tell you the basic documents required. However, please remember to read the guidance notes to ensure you've included everything for your particular application. You can click the Upload More Documents button if you need to add more files, using the Comments field to briefly explain the additional documents you are submitting. If you go back to previous sections after uploading documents and make changes that affect these requirements, you may need to re-upload your documents. This is the final page before submission. Please review all information provided to ensure it is accurate and complete. You won't be able to change anything on this page, but you can use the back button or the links at the top of the page to return to earlier pages and update any field. By submitting this application, you are declaring that the information provided is accurate and truthful. If you are satisfied with your application, click Proceed to Online Payment. You may need to allow pop-ups and then click the button again to show the payment screen where you will enter your debit or credit card information. The Cayman Islands government accepts Visa and MasterCard and you can use a debit or credit card issued anywhere in the world. Payment will be processed in Cayman Islands dollars for local service and in United States dollars for overseas service. If you have questions about any exchange rate that will be used or foreign currency transaction fees, please contact the bank that issued your card. The Cayman Islands government will not receive or retain your card information. Once your online payment has been authorized, you can view and print your receipt. Click Continue to return to our webpage for details on pickup date and time. If there is an issue with your application and we have to contact you for more information, your application may be delayed. You will also receive a confirmation email with this information and your official receipt. Please remember to bring your passport for identification when you collect your certificate from the Criminal Records Office.